Hi YouTube, Unix Soldier here. Today I'm going to talk about why Norton and Symantec sucks. Okay, it's garbage. The reason it sucks, okay, and I, uh, watch a lawsuit come after this. I don't like Norton, okay, because a couple big reasons. Okay, first of all, Norton is incredibly sensitive, so it often quarantines basically any file that it doesn't know. So to the average user, none of their software will work once you install a Norton or Symantec product. They now call it uh, Symantec. Um, they now have Symantec is, I, I believe Symantec is now what they call their product, Symantec Antivirus or something like that. They don't call it Norton anymore. Um, Norton Ghost was even a piece of crap software. Um, it had a lot of issues with backing up and ghosting uh, Active Directory drives, um, rather drives that had a domain controller on them. Um, I had a lot of issues with it. Um, Backup Exec is a good product. But I'm not here to talk about that. Um, I still think there's fr better free products like RSync and Bacula from that are Linux products that are a lot better. Um, but the main reason why Norton sucks is because I used to work in a in a uh, recently I worked in a place that was um, it was run by a network admin that had 20 plus years of experience, but he really wasn't that good. Um, sorry, he was a really nice guy, but he really wasn't that good. And I'm nothing special myself. I'm a junior network admin, so. Um, I, this guy was just really pitiful. Like he used to ask me like how he could pull off files off of ISO and just really basic stuff. But he had been doing computers and networking for 20 plus years, and he was a big Norton fan. And you can see other techs stomping on Norton. It's garbage. Why does Norton suck? It quarantines any little file. So to the average user, if you install Norton, almost any software after that won't work because it quarantines bits of the software that are needed to run. If you try to install something new and it's not known by Norton, it quarantines. It's incredibly sensitive. In reality, it does one of the fastest scans I've ever seen and catches nothing. So what good is that? You know, um, the other reason Norton sucks is in, an, in you know, and I'm talking actually not about Norton, I'm talking about semantic antivirus. Semantic antivirus, sorry about that is one of the worst antiviruses I've ever seen. Um, we had it on a couple servers and it actually would go and quarantine useful pieces out of databases and schemas that were useful that it thought matched heuristics or um, signatures, virus signatures, and it would quarantine them. And then suddenly the database wouldn't work and that was my first assignment when I got to uh, the company I worked for, I won't name their name, was to fix their database issue. And that's what I found, was that Norton was stopping it. Another time, I went to another site, and same guy's site, the, he was away. I went out there, and I went and diagnosed this lady's computer. I wasn't allowed to touch the server, okay? And so I spent a while with them. I, I diagnosed the problem. She thought I didn't know what I was doing because I spent quite a long time with her computer and actually complained, when in reality, I was the one who diagnosed the whole issue and we had to send out another tech because they asked not to send me for some reason, I, ageism, you know. Um, but I had actually diagnosed the issue. And what the actual issue was, because I got to go onto the server when I got back to the shop in RDPN, the actual issue was is that they were using DHCP service with the SBS, uh, small business server. And Norton had blocked it for 6,000 seconds, the DHCP service for Windows. That's why Norton is crappy. That's why Symantec makes garbage products. Another example. People say backup exec, exec is good because it never makes a mistake on the backup file. I don't agree with that. Some people say it's good. I, I'm not really going to diss it because a lot of people use it and like it. But I personally don't like backup, backup exec. I found it's really annoying. I remember the network admin said, oh, all you have to do there is disable this service and this service. And I'm like, well, why do you have to disable a bunch of services to get the backup program to work? That's a huge error that, that you know, like, to me, that's buggy. Um, what antiviruses do I like? Well, I should probably say that for another video, but I usually use free ones. I think the best antivirus is the user. Um, on top of that, a good Linux system. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't download anything in my Windows, in my Windows partition. Um, although, I have downloaded things and played it in there. But I do not download things in my, my Windows partition. It's dangerous. And you shouldn't either. Okay, so that's why I think Norton sucks. Um, some other good examples of people who think that Norton sucks. Leo Laporte, you can see him uh, on uh, the screens here. It was a popular uh, IT channel. He actually had uh, gone in and um, he uh, 
he had a user call in and ask what they thought about Norton, and he had thrown the box down and stomped on it and said, this is what we think about Norton, okay? And I thought that was quite interesting. Um, same with McAfee, though. Is the biggest thing is you can't you remove them easily. Um, apparently, Semantics fixed that. I don't think so. Um, I've always had to use my Semantic removal tool or my, back, or my Norton removal tool, which was built to remove Norton by Norton, which is kind of funny. But, you know, I don't think you should have to have a tool to remove a product. You know, I think that's malicious, right? That's like a, that's like what a virus is, right? A virus, you, you can't remove it usually, right? You got to use an antivirus to remove it or put your computer in safe mode and try to scan it and remove it that way, right? So that's why I don't think it, it's a very good idea. Um, another antivirus I didn't really like, and a lot of people might disagree with me, and I'm open to debate, is Nod32. Everyone said Nod32 is great, and I thought one of the greatest issues was it with it was it couldn't. And this is what a moderator from oh, he was such a douche. Uh, excuse my language. He was such a uh, jerk on the Watt, on mywatt.com, which is Web of Trust. I, I used to be a uh, member of that group, and he used to really kind of troll me on things. And he tried to tell me that uh, that. Uh, that uh, the reason that it couldn't, that it, it won't scan, he said it won't pick up viruses on flash drives, and that it won't pick it up on externals. And I don't know if that's true because that really sounds buggy, but um, if that is true, that's pretty bad. He he said that it had to be installed on the drive, and I, of course I reminded him, well, what about external drives? I mean, you're going to install your antivirus on some external. That doesn't make sense. So I, I'm not a big fan of uh, of not either or Kaspersky. Um, Kaspers Kaspersky, uh, I. IS, I believe we call it, Internet Security, is basically uh, the buggiest piece of software I've ever seen. Or not buggiest, the uh, bloatiest piece of uh, software I've ever seen, antivirus. It had a lot of nice features. It was really pretty. But when it comes down to it, I found it was useless. The best antivirus for me, or anti-malware actually, it's an AM, not an AV, is um, Malwarebytes. And I use the pro version because it's $3 for a lifetime subscription. I've had it for years. And... And that's what I use to clean most people's computers. I put them in safe mode, update it, and well, I pay for it, so it's all updates in real time. But I find, you know, some of the best products are free. So, anyway, let me know what you think. Rate and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.